In this video, I want to show you how you can install Tails OS on your Windows 10 machine using VMware Workstation Player. I am assuming here that you already have VMware Workstation Player installed on your Windows 10 machine. If you don't have it installed, please take a look at the link in the description for step-by-step -step instructions on how to install it and run it on Windows 10. First, we need to download Tails OS from tailsboom.org. So open your web browser and go to the website tails.boom.org. And here under tails.boom.org, click on Get Tails and then scroll to the end, to the bottom on the left. And you see for virtual machines ISO image, click on it. And then click on download Tails ISO image. So the download starts. It's not a very big download. It's 1.1 gigabyte only. So depending on your internet speed, the download might take from five minutes, maybe to an hour. So I'm going to accelerate this video now and come back when the download finishes. After the download finishes, it is better always to verify the downloaded ISO file. As you know, Tails is used for sensitive internet browsing and we don't want an ISO file that is compromised. So scroll down on the page and then click on install Tails verification extension. This will install an extension to verify the downloaded ISO image in your web browser. So I'm going to click on it. Here I am using Edge and simply click on Add to Chrome. This is a Chrome extension and the new Edge is using the Chromium based web browser. So click on Add to Chrome and then click on Add extension. I don't want to turn on Sync now. So the extension is added. Go back to the tab where you download the tails and then click on Verify Tails. Choose the downloaded ISO file. Here I put it in the Downloads folder. So I'm going to browse to the Downloads folder. I'm going to choose it and then click on Open. So the verification starts. It shouldn't take long. And the verification succeeded as you see. I'm going to close the browser. The next step will be to create the virtual machine in VMware Workstation. So open VMware Workstation. You can open it by typing in the search box VMware and then clicking on VMware Workstation Player. Once it is open, click on Create a new virtual machine. And then for the installer disk, click on Installer Disk Image and then Browse and select the Tails OS ISO. So here I downloaded it into the Downloads folder. So I'm selecting it and then click on Open and click on Next. For the guest operating system, we need to choose Linux and then choose a generic Linux. Choose the latest one. So here it is other Linux 5.x 64-bit and then click on Next. Name it whatever you want. Here I'm going to name it Tails OS. I'm going to keep the location by default. Click on Next. For the maximum disk here, it is not important because we are not going to use persistence. Because Tails OS, when you start it from a virtual machine, from an ISO file, you cannot create a persistent volume like this. So this is not important. I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to keep it split virtual disks also. So click on next here. I'm going to customize the hardware a little bit. I'm going to show you what I'm going to customize. The memory, I'm going to give it a little bit more memory. So here by default, it gave it 768 megabyte of memory. Of course, depending on how much memory you have on your host machine, you can give it memory. Don't give it less than two gigabyte because otherwise it won't not work correctly. So here I'm going to give it 4 GB because I have enough memory on my host machine. I have 16 GB. 
We adjust the memory, the processors are good, the network is also good, it should be on NAT so that the virtual machine can access the internet and then click on close and then click on finish. So the virtual machine will be created and now you can start it. So make sure it is selected and then click on the start button. VMware Workstation Player might ask you to download software update. I'm gonna choose not to download it now. And the virtual machine is starting. It shouldn't take long. It depends on the speed and configuration of your virtual machine. So this is the first start. It will ask you to choose your language, to choose your keyboard layout and the formats. And also you can choose other settings here if you want. I'm not gonna go into the details of these. Feel free to check them out as you like. So I'm gonna click on cancel. And for the language and the keyboard layout, I'm gonna leave them by default. This is what I have on my computer. So I'm gonna simply click on start tails. And this welcome screen will show each time because tails is not a persistent OS. And as I said before, because we are loading it from an ISO file on a virtual machine, we cannot create a persistent volume. So here is now Tails started. Of course, it is a small screen. You can just adjust the screen as much as you want. As you see, the network is connected. The volume is working. And here it's also telling you that Tor browser now it is enabled. So let's check it. Click on Applications. And then click on Tor browser. It is loading as you see. And here's Tor browser loaded and it loaded directly the Tails OS website. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.